In this video, we're going to build an interactive application with Streamlit and CHDB. We'll be using energy usage data from my house. So let's launch ClickHouse Local and take a look. So I've loaded some of this data already. So we're going to query the energy usage table and we're just going to get the first 10 rows. And so you can see here it comes back with half an hour increments of the electricity and natural gas usage uh, in my house. So it's going back to the end of 2022 up till now. We can also have a look at the tariffs. So this is in a CSV file and you can see it comes back. And what basically happens in the UK is they change the tariff, which is the amount that they charge you every three months. So they have like a maximum cap they're allowed to charge you. And then each provider chooses, chooses what's going to be their standing charge. So that's what you get charged as a minimum every day and then a unit rate. So that's the amount you pay per kilowatt hour of usage. And you can see it also has a date range at the end. So it's once per quarter, they change it. And so I've loaded this into an energy, the energy.tariffs table so that we have an entry for each day to make it easier to join it with the other data set. So we're going to open app.py and a bunch of utility files. And we'll then do some imports. The important ones here are the streamlet uh, on the second line and then chdb session down on the last line. So we're going to build a what if analysis app where we'll take the energy usage from a day and then see how much it would have cost with a tariff from another quarter. So let's, what we need to do now is load the tariffs. So let's look at the query uh, for how to do that. So you can see this is the query. So we're querying that CSV file tariffs.csv and then we're pulling out the, the various different items and we're just aggregating it so that everything is on one row for each quarter rather than as, as it was originally where we had gas and electricity on the individual lines. Now let's, so let's run that query using chdb and we'll get the, the result should be in a data frame and then we'll just render that data frame to the page using Streamlit. And if we now go over to another tab, we're going to run our Streamlit app and then we'll come over to the browser. And so you can see for each quarter, we've got the start date, the end date, the standing charge, the unit rate for gas and for electricity. Okay, so let's come back to our code and we're going to make a two column uh, container. We're basically going to use this to format uh, the controls. So we're, we're only going to be using the one on the left. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a control that allows us to choose a comparison date and we'll be populating that with data from the tariffs table. Once we've done that, we'll then pull out, it, we'll get it to pull out from that table of tariffs, the, the selected one, and then we'll just do a format date for the actual selected date. And then we're also going to have the, de the day, the specific day that we want to use for the usage. Uh, so we'll default that to you know, January the 1st of this year. Next, we're going to create a data frame of the usage for the selected day. So you can see here we've got our energy usage for day query function. And so what that does, it goes over the energy usage table and kind of aggregates everything up so that it's on a uh, uh, so that we've got the totals for an individual day for that energy type. Then we join it with the tariffs and then we get back the usage for each energy type for that day as well as the cost. And then we filter it for a particular day at the end. Now we're going to make a variable called usage that, that executes that query. And then we're going to write to the page the alternate uh, tariff that we selected at the top and then the usage that we've just calculated now. And you can see what, if we go back to the browser, we've got at the top, we've got the ability to choose a tariff, like a, the, the, the quarter for a tariff, and we can choose the, amount, the, the day that we want to look at the usage. And then underneath, it's got the actual value. So at the top, the tariff that we're using, and then underneath the usage. Let's come back to the code, and we're going to delete those last four lines. And now we'll come over to data.py. And so we've got in here some classes that are basically going to wrap up so the, the data frame, so we've got energy usage, and so that's going to wrap up the data frame and then allow us to pull out the usage, the standing charge, the unit rate. And if we come down a little bit, we've got this function that generates us a table. So it's a data frame which is going to include the, the cost on the selected day, uh, the cost on the comparison day, and then we're going to have the, the difference as well. So it's going to build us like a nice little table. So we'll, we'll use that in a minute. And then, and then if we come right to the bottom of this file, we've also got the alternate uh, class that wraps the alternate usage. Let's go back to the app.py and we're going to create the an energy usage instance just for the gas. And then we'll create the alternate gas, passing in the appropriate standing charge and the unit rate. 
And then let's do the same thing for the electricity. So we'll do the energy usage instance and then the alternate usage as well. And now we're going to render to the screen the, the actual usage. So we'll, we'll put a little header and then we're going to have two columns. So on the left, we're going to put in the gas usage. And then on the right, we're going to put in the electricity electricity usage. And if we come back to our UI, now we can see at the top, you've got the dates. We've got the amount of electricity used on the 13th of December. And then underneath, we've now got it rendered a little, little bit more nicely. So we can see we used 40 kilowatts of gas and 20 kilowatts of electricity. And we can change that day to say the 14th of December. And you can see it then goes and updates the numbers. OK, so if we come back to our code, what we're going to do now is render the gas cost consumption table. So let's put in the, the markdown and the, the text around it. And now we're going to render that table that we talked about before. So remember, we've got a table that has the usage, it has the cost for, that we actually paid, and then the cost for this hypothetical situation. And then we've got the difference uh, computed between the two. So let's come over to our formatting file and we're going to be using this function called style table uh, that you can see here. And so this takes in a data frame and it, then it takes in the selected date. And so we're going to get, take that data frame and we're going to apply the, 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 the style in color diff. And it's only going to be happening to, on the difference column. And so what color diff is going to do is it's going to render a different color depending whether the difference is positive, negative, or zero. And then once we've done that, we're then going to format the values in the difference column to indicate was there no difference or was, was it more than on the comparison date or was it less than on the comparison date. And if we then come over to back back to our app.py, we're gonna we're gonna get the data out of the gas. Remember the gas uh, energy usage class. We're gonna get that table, and then we're gonna render it using the st data frame uh, function. And now let's do the same for electricity. So remember we've got to put in the the blurb kind of at the top, and then we can render the table and put it onto the page. And if we come over to the page now, we can see. Uh, it sort of shows us this is how much it actually cost. This is how much you used. This is how much it cost you. This is how much it would have cost you if we'd have been using this tar tariff. And here's the difference. So I want to show you the most expensive day from 2023, which was the 18th of January. And basically because it was freezing, absolutely freezing uh, on that day. And so you can see here it comes back. This is my, this is our, our, our cost on, on, the 28th, on the 18th of January, rather. So it was £28 uh, for the whole day. Now let's have a look. So it was also really expensive uh, in that quarter. So let's have a look how much it would have cost us if we did it now. So I uh, January 2024. And so you can see we would have saved like quite a lot of money if we would have had this price. We would have saved uh, 11 pounds on the gas usage and just under four pounds uh, on the electricity usage. So to finish off, we're going to add some charts to this to, to kind of jazz it up a bit and show the cost of energy over time. So let's go up in our app.py to where all the data reading code is. And we're going to be using another query. So it's going to be the energy usage query. And this is exactly, almost exactly the same as the, the one where we filter by day. It's just we don't have the filter uh, anymore. And so we're going to call that query and we're going to get the result as a data frame. And so now let's come down to just below the gas usage table where that's printed. And this is where we're going to add our chart. So we're going to be using Plotly to do this. And let's just, I've just made a little function that will help us here. So let's have a look at that. So it's going to generate us a line chart. We'll need to pass in a bunch of parameters. We're defaulting the X axis to the day and the Y axis to the cost. And then we're going to draw a line chart. And then we're going to put a vertical line where the selected date is. So we can just see where it is and how it, how it looks relative to the, the rest of time. Now let's create, so we'll create our, our figure passing in the just the gas uh, values from the, the data frame. We'll give it a gas cost as the, the title and then we'll render that using the plotly chart function. And then let's do the same thing for electricity. And if we now come over to our browser again and we'll scroll down a little bit, you can see the gas usage, it's pretty tied to the to the time of year, right? Like it's pure, th th this is basically the heating uh, for the house. You can see it kind of goes up in January and February and then it sort of comes down again and it's very, very low uh, in, the, in the summer where you're, you're, not, you're not really heating anything. Uh, if we then look at electricity, so this is still seasonal, but a little bit less because you're still kind of using, using electricity to do things. So like our oven is electric, the fridge is electric. So there's a lot of things, uh, more things using electricity uh, and we're not really using this to heat the house. Although we do have like an electric heater, but we don't really use it uh, that much.
Uh, so hopefully this was useful and you've got a, an, an example of how you could go about building uh, an application using Streamlit and CHDB. If you liked this video, you might also like this one up here where we showed how to query pandas data frames using CHDB.